Hello and welcome, this is Reddit Tosker. In today's video we're going to be talking about the Insect Glaive. With the additions and changes that the Insect Glaive has gone through in Monster Hunter Sunbreak, there's a lot of new things that aren't obvious, and there's a lot of old things that interact with the new things in interesting ways. Some of the things on this list might seem obvious to an experienced Insect Glaive user, but a lot of the things on here also aren't, and I suspect that even veteran players are going to find quite a bit that they didn't know about. Let's go ahead and get started. Number 1. Kinsec Slashes can be aimed. The new switch skill Kinsec Slash can be aimed by pointing your reticle in the direction you want it to go. Number 2. Kinsec Slashes accrue charges for Diving Wyvern. When you hit a monster with a Kinsec Slash, your hunter will bounce backwards and upwards. You can do this a total of three times, and each time that you do it, it builds a charge for your Diving Wyvern. Those charges remain until your hunter hits the ground. If you use a Diving Wyvern on a monster with charges accrued, it will do more damage based on the number of charges that you had at the time. Number 3. Kinsec Slash changes your Vaulting Dance. If you have Jumping Advancing Slash equipped as a switch skill, your Vaulting Dance will throw your Hunter straight up into the air. If, however, you have Kinsec Slash equipped, your Vaulting Dance will throw you upwards and backwards. Number 4. If you have Kinsec Slash equipped and you have the Red Extract, after using a Kinsec Slash attack, you can use an Enhanced Insect Spiker. This attack will get you quickly back onto the ground and do a lot of damage. The Enhanced Insect Spiker only works if you do it right after a Kinsec Slash. If you mid-air evade, it will revert to a normal, strong jumping slash. Number 5. You can aim the Enhanced Insect Spiker in the same way that you do the Kinsec Slash by pointing your reticle in a certain direction. Number 6. Kinsec Slash works with Speed Kinsecs. Speed Kinsecs charge while they're on your arm, and if you throw them when they're fully charged, they'll do more damage than normal. If you use Kinsec Slash when your Kinsec is fully charged, it will do its charged attack damage. Number 7 is that Kinsec Slash will also work with the Chain Charge Attack Speed Kinsecs. Number 8 is that you can pair your Awakened Kinsec Attack with a Kinsec Slash in order to perform an Advanced Insect Spiker. If you hit a monster with your Awakened Kinsec Attack, the Kinsect will pull your Hunter towards the monster. If the Hunter connects with the monster's body, you'll do an attack, and then your Hunter will do a Vaulting Dance. The Kinsect will also grab an extract from whatever part of the monster's body that you attacked. As a result of all this, if you equipped Kinsect Slash, and you attack a part of the monster's body that gives you a red extract, you can then perform an Enhanced Insect Spiker right after you do a Awakened Kinsect Attack. Number 9 is that Awakened Kinsect Attack also pairs with the Speed Kinsect's Charged Attack. If you do an Awakened Kinsect Attack, when your Speed Kinsect is fully charged, it will do its full charged damage in addition to the damage done by your Awakened Kinsect Attack. Number 10 is that this will also work with the Chain Charge Speed Kinsect types. Number 11 is that the Awakened Kinsect Attack does the same amount of damage regardless of where on the monster's body you hit. This has a lot of uses. For example, number 12. You can use Awakened Kinsect Attack on a body part that doesn't have the red extract, and then, because you're airborne at that point, you can use Kinsect Slash to get the other two extracts from the monster. Number 13 is that this can be paired to great effect with using the dual-colored Kinsects. Using an Awakened Kinsect Attack on the monster's body with the dual defense Kinsect, you can get the white and orange extracts, and then you can go for the red extract with one Kinsect Slash. This is the fastest way to get your full buffs again after using an Awakened Kinsect Attack. Alternatively, if you really wanted to get the red extract first, you can use technique number 13. You can use a dual color Kinsect to get the red extract first, and then use Kinsect Glide on a different part of the monster's body, which will let you get the extract that you're missing. Number 14 is that Tetra Seal Slash's attack has been increased. Shortly before Sunbreak, Capcom released a patch, and in this patch, Tetra Seal Slash received a speed buff. Number 15 is that different Kinsects will do different numbers of attacks with the Awakened Kinsect. For example, the Chain Charge Attack Kinsect will do 6 attacks, apart from its Charge Attack. Number 16 is that the new Powder Vortex Kinsect will leave 5 Kinsect Powders when you use an Awakened Kinsect Attack with it. And finally, number 17 is that this fact pairs very nicely with Kinsect Slash. If you use an Awakened Kinsect Attack, and you connect with the monster, you will do a Vaulting Dance. If you're using Jumping Advancing Slash, your Vaulting Dance will throw you straight up into the air. If you use your strong jumping slash to attack the monster as you're coming back down, you risk blowing up your dust clouds. But if you equipped Kinsect Slash instead, 
your vaulting dance will throw you away from the monster backwards, and then let you use an enhanced Kinsex Spiker to go back to the ground safely without attacking any of your dust clouds. Once on the ground, you can use your Kinsect Mark Target attack, and then right after your Kinsect Special attack, to blow all the clouds at once. And for the last one, number 18 is that when you're using your Powder Vortex Kinsect, you can use your special attack to gather all the dust clouds where you want them to be, but you can also cancel out of it and move them without blowing them up by recalling your Kinsect. And that's the last one. Hopefully you found at least one of those useful. But either way, thank you very much for watching.